Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose in it resonate, hit that subscribe button. If you are, <laughs> please, if you are already a continued subby, uh, you know I love you for it. Thank you so much for being here. So uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So <clears throat> here's the thing for your key to the week, you have the devil card, right? So this week, you're going to have to be aware of your own vices, what they are, how they trip you up, how they get in your way, how you get in your own way, and what your patterns and your cycles are. This is a week for you to really pay attention to this stuff, guys. Um, the thing is, you know, Sagittarius is a beautiful sign. You have a great energy about you. Um, the problem is with Saggies, sometimes you can kind of get on your soapbox and kind of just stay there, um, which can be a little bit intense for everybody around you and I say this out of complete love I'm an Aquarius and we can be frosty dickheads at the best <laughs> a lot of people are like wow you really don't hold back about yourself do you no I don't why why would I right um this is what gives me that uh, uh, ability to kind of say what kind of is now um, the devil card is asking you that, right? This week, you're going to have to really pay attention to what your vices are, how you get in your own way, or, uh, you know, quite frankly, what is it? What are the patterns or the cycles that you're addicted to, changing your mind too often? Um, you know, it's good to, don't get me wrong, when you get new information, being able to change your viewpoint or your outlook in line with what you're presented, especially if you know that know it to be factual or true for you personally, that's an amazing skill and an amazing ability. But when you're chopping and changing your mind consistently all the time for no real reason or for nothing necessarily of substance, that can become a problem. So the devil card is highlighting this to you this week. For your actions and options, you've got the Ten of Swords. It's interesting because this came up for Aries, I believe. Um, this is the week, or rather this week, Look at this, right right next to the devil card. There is something that you are laying to rest. Now, the interesting thing is, I feel like for a lot of you, this may be a connection, maybe it is a relationship, maybe it is, um, maybe it's a dance that you do with somebody that you're no longer interested in entertaining. Do you know what I mean? Like there might just be an energy around you where you're like, no, this doesn't work for me anymore. I can't and I won't. Uh, be a part of this and ultimately maybe this week you're catching yourself you know where you feed into it it's like one of those things you know when you have a recurring argument with a specific person and you're like okay this keeps coming up right and at some point you have to realize that you're a part of what's perpetuating that this week I actually feel like you're saying no you know what fuck that I'm pulling myself out right I'm pulling myself my energy my focus my attention is coming out no way I'm not doing this anymore and remember your actions and options is about what you choose so this is you stepping in for yourself and saying right I'm not having this anymore I'm putting an end to it good for you Saji for your communications and conversations, you've got the Ten of Swords. Two tens together uh, represent change. Um, so there is a change coming to your workplace, to your profession, to your, uh, I don't want to say finances yet because we haven't pulled a money and materials card, but there is a change on the horizon for you. And that Ten of Wands, it really does suggest that this week you are going to be voicing or vocalising your opinion. This is where you're, and when I say your opinion, this isn't like, oh, look at me and put my opinion down. This is about you saying, no, you know what? I finally need to speak on this. I've I've gone through enough injustice. I've had so many certain experiences. I'm not doing this anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna, um, one, I'm not gonna allow this situation to happen anymore. I realize where I'm feeding into this pattern and I'm stepping out of it. And this, right, when it comes to your work, when it comes to the profession, this week there is something changing to do with your job and I actually feel like this is consciously led. So this is about you saying, right, okay, something about this area, uh, arena, profession, all the rest of it, it doesn't work for me anymore. Um, so yeah, and I mean, what is the 10 of wands, right? Sometimes, I'm gonna be, <laughs> uh, sometimes 
People are not necessarily ready for what it is that you have to say to them, but they must hear it anyway, right? Whether it stings, whether it smarts, that's not your stuff. Um, thanks, Magical Mama. <laughs> it's a little shout out to uh, a very special person in my life. So um, for your money and materials, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So this change that's coming up for you guys this week, it definitely has something to do with your work, something to do with your profession, uh, you know, whether this is your own business, whether it's you're working in, you know, for other people or whatever. That Eight of Pentacles uh, also tells me when it comes to the profession this week, you could be throwing yourself into work this week. Maybe because it's a part of a, maybe it's a little bit of an escapism, or maybe you're using that as your vice to get away from something else that you kind of want to shy away from it's like oh do you know what I, I don't want to deal with that so what's the opposite you know what can I do I can throw myself into my work if I'm too busy to deal with it I don't have to deal with it well unfortunately you do and you will so um, with that said for your finances this week um, if I'm honest I feel like you're trying to figure out how to make money for yourself how to no longer be at somebody else's beck and call how, no, how to no longer how to generate the kind of money from a personal business or what you do from you know from your own f so to speak when it comes to your home um it looks like a lot of you are either i wouldn't say going to do a bunker um but it looks like a lot of you are trying to figure out whether the place that you are in at the moment actually works for you um it looks like a lot of you are doing a lot of structural work on your home as well so remember different pockets of messages will be for different people you know not everybody has the same ascendant not everybody's you know ascendant degree not everybody has the same degree of moon sign not everybody has the same degree of sun sign you know this will be there'll be different parts of this message for all of you um <clears throat> when it comes to your physical health this week eight of pentacles coupled with the ten of uh, ten of wands and the ten of swords look after your back oh my gosh this week you really really need to look after your physical back the bones of your back uh, really watch your posture how you're sitting how you're moving how you're twisting uh, you know if you are doing any sort of DIY down around around about the house please 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 be mindful of your back um, and if you do have I mean I'm not a doctor or a medical professional but if you do have any issues or anything like that um, this week go and see a chiropractor go and see an osteopath you know somebody that knows what they're doing with that um, for your love and relations you've got the emperor card this is interesting because um, it kind of suggests for those of you that are partnered I'm going to start there for those of you that are partnered and married especially there's something this week that kind of sees you guys and you're saying you know what maybe we're going to have to agree to disagree but I still love you do you know what I mean like there's a degree here that looks like it's almost like whatever work stress you have it may have the relationship may have taken a toll for it and I kind of feel like this week you're going to be saying you know what I realise that I have put strain on our relationship because of the job um, and I'm going to choose to stop letting that interfere, you know, and if anything, I actually feel like it's going to strengthen your bond this week. When it comes to those of you that are single, um, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, um, got to stop doing that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I think for those of you that are single, it looks like you are meeting somebody or connecting with somebody this week. This is very likely to be somebody that is older, maybe in a position of authority or possibly a uniform of some sort. But I'm, the feeling that I get from it, this person has some of their own stuff to work out yet. Um, so whatever connection or union is taking place between you, if you can keep it at that sort of ground grassroots level for now that will be the best energy for you and for them i just don't feel like you're both settled enough to give it the kind of commitment that it really deserves at this moment in time all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up have as as great a week as you possibly can with the energy that there is right but just be conscious of it sometimes just being aware makes it so much easier to traverse all right take care and i'll see you soon